Shell Ha is an aquatic theme park located on the Caribbean coast of the state of Quintana Roo, Mexico, near Tulum. It is pronounced as Shell Ha because the name is in the Mayan language. In Mayan, Ha means water, and Shell Ha translates as where water is born because several underground rivers flow into this inlet. If you are into snorkeling and other water-based activities, it is a must-visit destination. Also, it is an all-inclusive park, so this is a perfect place to just relax, enjoy nature, and not think about anything else. The park is located about a one and a half hour drive from Cancun, depending on the traffic. Both times we went there, we used the transportation offered by the park. If you purchase your tickets online, you will be offered the option of being picked up at a location nearest to your hotel. The pickup time depends on your hotel's location. The bus will drop you off in the parking lot right in front of the sales desk for paid activities. Even though the park is all-inclusive, they still offer some optional paid activities like swimming with dolphins or manatees, power snorkeling, and others, which you can purchase if you want even more excitement. The guide on the bus may or may not tell you that you should buy your tickets for optional activities here. What they forget to mention is that you can do that later on at every corner inside the park. So, don't waste your time here. Go straight to the park entrance. Shellha may appear smaller compared to other parks from the Eshkeret family, but don't be fooled by its size, thinking that you will have plenty of time for everything. You will have almost enough time to see and try everything included in your admission. But if you want to kick it up a notch and try some awesome optional activities, we recommend that you go online and decide which ones you want to try before going to the park, because time flies there, and it is a good idea to have a plan. As you enter, you'll be greeted by the sight of dolphins swimming in ponds, adding to the park's natural charm. If you get there early in the morning like we did, you may be lucky enough to see them perform some cool tricks. After entering the park, we headed to the locker rooms, which are called stations there and are color-coded. Our plan was to start our day with the river tour, so we decided to change into more appropriate clothes and leave our belongings at the yellow station. A word about the lockers. They are big enough to fit a medium-sized backpack in there, in case you were wondering. Mm -hmm. By the way, the river tour ends in the lagoon right across from the yellow station, so it is conveniently located in case you run out of battery on your GoPro and need to grab a spare one from your locker. One more thing, Shellha does provide complimentary towels, and the snorkeling gear is included in the price of the ticket. Ask for your towels and the snorkeling gear at the reception desk of your locker room or station, as they call it. As far as clothes are concerned, you will definitely need a pair of water shoes and a Lycra shirt. Also, remember to bring sunscreen with you, and please use the biodegradable type. Other sunscreens are not allowed at the park because they can harm marine life. As mentioned earlier, one of the highlights of visiting Shellha is the all-inclusive dining experience. So, we decided to start our day by enjoying a quick breakfast. After our breakfast, we headed for our river adventure. It takes quite a bit of walking to get to the so-called train station, from where they take you to the beginning of the river. You can also ride a bike to the river if you like. This is the so-called train that takes you through the jungles to the beginning of the river adventure. Once you get there, grab your life jacket and follow the signs to the beginning of your adventure. If lucky, you may be able to see one of these cute fur balls. They are called coatees, and they are members of the raccoon family. And also they are super cute. 
The River Experience Tour has two options. You can either snorkel all the way, the snorkeling gear will be available at the entrance to the river, or use an inflatable inner tube and relax, slowly rafting down the river. We opted for the inner tube option because we were feeling a little lazy after breakfast. When you start the river tour, you will be floating through a tunnel of mangroves for about five, 10 minutes. It looks super awesome. It is a very tranquil and relaxing experience, so just relax and enjoy this natural beauty. After the mangrove tunnel, there will be a couple of places along the way where you can stop and jump off a cliff or use a zip line. These activities are included in the price of your ticket. Remember, you can leave your inner tube in designated places and exit the river at any moment. There's no need to worry about your tube. Simply leave it and then pick up any available one as there are always plenty and continue your journey. Also, you can make a little detour and check out their open sea notes, which are absolutely stunning. There are many different fish species in these sea notes. This part of the park is quieter and more tranquil, with fewer people. It requires some walking to reach all that it has to offer. By the way, the park is full of wildlife. The iguanas are lurking practically everywhere. But once in a while, you stumble upon something unexpected, like this colorful cockatoo. Check this guy out. He's absolutely stunning. And we're back to the river tour. As mentioned, feel free to hop on and off the river tour wherever you like and use any available inner tube. You'll find plenty of them. There is a spot with several zip lines along the river tour. Feel free to have a detour here and enjoy them all. This is included in your admission and is a lot of fun. You can choose either a seated harness or holding onto a hanging handle with your hands. If you get tired after all the paddling and zip lining, feel free to use your partner as your driving force and just relax a little. The river tour will end right across from the yellow station. It takes some time to go through this adventure, especially if you plan to visit sea notes and zip lines, so allocate at least an hour for the river tour. After the river tour, we opted to take a break and enjoy lunch at one of the park's restaurants. As we already mentioned, one of the highlights of visiting Shellha is the all-inclusive dining experience. Alcohol is included too. For the entrance fee of $100, visitors can indulge in a variety of delicious dishes and refreshing beverages throughout the day. From traditional Mexican cuisine to international favorites, the buffet offers a wide range of options to satisfy every palate. There are several restaurants in the park, but their menus are almost the same. Lunch is offered buffet style in all of them. You fill your plate at your own pace, and the waitstaff is available to bring your drinks. After enjoying our lunch, we made our way to the optional activity that we had booked.
This activity is called Sea Track. They give you a scuba helmet, which they hook up to an oxygen hose, and you can breathe normally underwater. You will be under the constant supervision of the Shell Ha staff. They are responsible for your safety. They will explain everything to you and hand hold you through the whole thing. The helmet is quite heavy, which will help you walk along the bottom without floating up to the surface. Heads up, your face and hair will not get wet during this activity. While walking along the bottom of the sea, you will be following the route and holding onto a handrail, so you won't get lost or anything. Once you are underwater, get ready to be amazed by the variety, sizes, shapes, and colors of the different fish species. Remember to walk with your body in a straight position to avoid water from flowing into your helmet. Additionally, there will be a couple of divers responsible for your experience and safety. They will guide you on when to stop, where to move, and help you resurface as needed. Was it worth it? In our opinion, it definitely was, as it was our first time trying this kind of activity. We felt as happy as children in a magical world and emerged with very positive emotions. But if you prefer not to pay extra for optional activities, there's no need to worry. The lagoon is full of fish, and if you go for a snorkeling session, you will see these very same fish varieties. The only difference is that on your sea track session, they use fish food, and you will be literally swarmed by fish, getting to see them up close. In a snorkeling session, you will have to work with your flippers to chase after the fishes. Following Sea Trek, our next optional activity was the Manatee Encounter. This experience is not included in the admission, and advanced booking is required. There, you get to hang out with these sweet-natured creatures. Not only do you get to swim with the manatees, but you also get to learn cool and interesting facts about them, and even feed them. It's an experience you won't want to miss, seriously. During the Manatee Encounter, the staff will share insights about these fascinating creatures and guide you on proper interaction. For instance, did you know that manatees are distant relatives of elephants? You'll get the unique chance to hand feed these gentle giants with raw fruits and vegetables like bananas and carrots. Although caution is needed, as active fish may attempt to steal the food right out of your hands. Manatees use their upper lip to take the food, which kind of resembles a shortened elephant's trunk. The animals we encountered that day were two young females. These kind and non-aggressive animals are shy by nature. The staff permits you to touch the manatee's tail and pet them gently. Their bodies are slippery and are covered in algae. After the feeding session, you can snorkel with the manatees Keep in mind that manatees are extremely shy and averse to noise, so maintaining a quiet atmosphere without splashing is crucial to prevent them from swimming away. Importantly, the funds you invest in this experience contribute to the preservation of these remarkable creatures. For thrill seekers, the park features a towering structure with a spiral water slide. Climb to the top and brace yourself for an exhilarating ride down. A heads up, you won't be able to bring your action camera with you or your phone or your water shoes. They will ask you to leave everything in the nearby lockers. We were kind of disappointed when one of the staff told us that, but later we understood why. Depending on your weight, the slide can get really fast and bumpy, so you could easily injure yourself with your camera or your phone, or you could break them beyond repair. Speaking from our personal experience. Anyway, it was fun. Snorkeling in Shellha Park is a true pleasure. As we mentioned earlier, the snorkeling gear is included in your admission. Feel free to pick it up at your station whenever you like, and remember to return the gear to the same station. During your snorkeling tour, pay special attention to areas with rocks. These spots tend to host a majority of fishes, often in large groups. You may also notice that the water can sometimes appear a bit blurry. Rest assured, it's not due to a dirty snorkeling mask or camera. Here in Shellha Inlet, 
A unique natural phenomenon occurs when salty seawater meets fresh water. The blurry water effect happens at their meeting point. Despite its appearance, this type of water provides comfortable living conditions for various water creatures and wildlife. While snorkeling, we were fortunate to encounter not only different colorful fishes, but also some large fish and a stingray. Following them for a while was truly exciting. After a day full of adventure, take some time to unwind and appreciate the beauty of Shellha. Find a hammock and lay back, listening to the sounds of nature and feeling the gentle breeze. It's the perfect way to end an incredible day. We thoroughly enjoyed our time at Shellha Park and highly recommend it to everyone, especially to families with kids. The diverse activities, including snorkeling, wildlife encounters, and water slides, offer great entertainment, and the park itself boasts stunning beauty. Shellha is designed for easy enjoyment. It's just the right size, ensuring you can explore everything in a day without feeling rushed. The inclusive food and drinks add a nice touch, surprising us with the delicious food and complimentary beverages, making Shellha a fantastic value. For those seeking a blend of natural beauty and water-filled fun in Riviera Maya, Shellha is the ideal park. Thanks for tuning in, and we trust this guide will enhance your Shellha experience. If you have any questions about the park, feel free to drop them in the comments, and we'll be sure to respond.